गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग Why others have not joined yet? Good morning, ma'am. Yes. Can we start? See, if you remember, in the previous yes. class, we have learned to convert time. Okay. What we learned was first we learned to. I will tell you everything that we did. We converted minutes to seconds. We yes. converted. Oh, ma'am, can you wait one time? Your voice is breaking. Yeah. Is it breaking for everybody? No, ma'am, it's not. So that means there is some internet issue at her end. Okay. So we did conversion of minutes to seconds. Then we did conversion from years to months. Okay. then we also learned converting minutes into hours and minutes yeah then we first added the total minutes and then again converted into hours and minutes then we also learned the 24 hour clock do you remember yes ma'am clock yes yeah we understood what is a digital clock we understood what is an analog clock and then we also wrote time in words am i right Yes, ma'am. Yes. Oh, yes. Now, today, what we are going to do is we are going to solve these problems related to time. Okay, and we are going to use the twenty-four hour clock. Now, before we do this part, I want you to know that what is a time in a twenty-four hour clock? Okay, like for example, if I say it is one. pm what is 8 in a 24 hour clock um it's 13 13 13 13, 13 hours how do you call it 13 hours. 13 okay so what we will do the first thing before we start solving this we are going to learn how to write in a 24 hour clock okay so i'm going to put down few things on the screen which you can write in your book So what are we learning? Learning twenty. Oh, ma'am, what you said? Can you say another time? Hour clock. Yeah, what? Learning twenty-four hour clock. We are doing learning twenty-four hour clock. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, and here you will start writing whatever I am writing. Okay, one. pm is equal to 13 hours. hours same way we will write 2 pm is equal to 14 hours 14 hours please write this down in your notebook very quickly so that in the exam time you know that if it is asked in a 24 hour clock what you are supposed to write 3 pm will be 15 hours 4 pm 16 hours 5 pm yeah sorry i wrote 15 17 yeah 6 5 pm will be 17 hours 6 pm will be 18 Hours. Okay. Seven p.m. Nineteen. Nineteen hours. hours. Eight p.m. Twenty hours. Yes, twenty hours. Nine p.m. Will be twenty-one hours. Ten p.m. Twenty-two hours. Two hours, eleven p.m. Twenty-three hours. Twenty-three hours. Twelve a.m. Twenty-four hours. 
Now this 12, 12 becomes yeah. AM. Correct? Yes. And what is this called? 24 hours. No. Zero, zero hours. Zero, zero. Okay. And 12 PM is 12 noon. Is it very clear? Yes, ma'am. Please write yes. this down in your book because this is going to help you convert. And after you have written this down, I'm going to give you little extra questions which you will have to convert and tell me what it is. Ma'am, I couldn't understand this part. Can you explain me? Better we know that uh, we have 24 hours in a day. Yes. But a clock has only 12 numbers. Yes, ma'am. The, the hands move two times in the clock. So the second yes, time when it moves, we can count it as the 24-hour clock also. Okay. When it is one in the afternoon, we can say it is 13 hours. When it is two in the afternoon, we can say it is 14 hours. Do you get me, Ifat? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so this, this way we have written all the time. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. Done, ma'am. Okay. Everybody has written it? Yes. Now I'm going to write down the extra questions so that you'll be able to convert it into a 24-hour clock. Work, right? This you will do now. Okay. Um, Can you repeat it again? Now you have to give me in 24 hour clock. When it is 24 hour clock, the time comes in hours. You don't have AM and PM in that. AM and PM is there only in 12 hour clock. Do you understand what I speak better? Okay, so no AM, no PM. Answer will be only in hours. Once you're done with the answers, let me know so that we can discuss it. Ma'am, uh, 3 a.m. Ma what we have to write? Can you... 
Yes. Can you just show me the first uh, as three, an example? 3 a.m. 3 a.m. will be 3 15 hours? 3 hours. Point zero zero. Yeah, it will be 3 hours. Or if we have to write it like the digital, we will write 3 hours like this. Ma'am, I couldn't understand. Can you explain? Ma'am, no, not understanding. Six point four. You have to five one. Yes. If what? When you have to write AM, AM is going to remain the same. Only PM changes. If what? Do you get me better? Yes, ma'am. AM will remain the same time. You will only write it with hours. But when it is PM, oh. then the time will change. Okay, ma'am. Thank okay. you. Okay. So like, for example, if it oh, is 5 p.m., then 5 p.m. will be 17, 17 hours. Yeah. Get it? Yes, Only ma p.m. changes. A.m. will remain the same. And, uh, ma'am, I want to ask and you one what? question. One uh, minute. One at a time. Who is asking me? Me, and what Sarah. about the 6.45 p.m.? Now p.m. will yeah, change, even right? I don't understand. P.m. Yes, will change, correct? What is yes, 6 p.m.? 6 p.m. 18, 18 hours. 18 hours. 18 so it will be 18.45 hours. Okay, okay. ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, Sarah, what is your doubt? Ma'am, that only what I mean, I'm told. Okay. Are you all getting how to do? Yes, ma'am. Okay, try completing it and then I will discuss. Ma'am, can I see the uh, that side? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Done, ma'am. Even I, ma'am. Yes. Are you all done? Very yeah, good. Can you just wait? Uh, no, okay. one minute, ma'am. Okay. Now, what is going to be 8.30 a.m.? Ma'am? 8.30 uh, uh, Sorry. Yeah, 8.30 20. hours. No. 8.30 a.m. will be 8.30 yeah. hours. Yes, eight hours, 30 minutes. Only PM will change. And only AM of 12, you have to be very aware. 12 AM will be zero, zero hours. That you have to be very careful. Of AM, you have to only worry about 12. Others, whatever it is, you have to write the same. PM, you will have to change. Now, 4.45 PM. PM has to change. Karna hai. So 4 will become 16. 16. Yes. Okay. Now PM. Yes. So PM has to change. 23.55 hours. Very good. Ma'am, so again, 5.15 hours. 5 hours. 5 hours. 15 minutes. Yes. Because it is AM, we will keep it as it is. Okay. Now PM, 18. we will have to change. 18.40 hours. Very good. Again, PM, 19. we will have 19.15 hours. 19.15 hours. 
Very good. I'm glad you all are able to do it. Anybody has doubt? And no. if there is AM, we will write as it is. AM. When it is AM, you will write as it is. Okay, ma'am. Are you all done? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes. You got all correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Ma only that 831 yes. I did not get correct. Okay, no problem. Ma'am, can you just wait a minute? Yeah, okay. Ma'am, don't erase it. I'm taking a screenshot. Okay, please do. Have you all written this down in your notebook, everybody? Yes. Okay. Now we are moving getting my charger. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Now we are moving towards the word problems. Can I erase it now? Yes. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Now look at the word problems. Now it says that Yukesh went for a run. He left Can his house at 14.20. Okay. So now the first thing that we will do is write down the time when he started running or when he left his house. 14.20. We will write it in 24 hour clock only. Because then only adding will become, become easy. If you convert it, then it will be a problem. So write it as it is. Okay. So he left his house at 14. Ma'am, how do I write in my copy? Uh, if you want to put Did it. I copy in, this whole statement. You are going to write it in your uh, notebook? Yes, ma'am. So should I copy See, this uh, no, whole no, statement? If you are writing in your notebook, then you can write word problems. Then you can write page number, whatever is in your textbook. My textbook, it is 133. Okay, and I you know. can write question number one. You don't need to copy it all. Okay, okay, so 1420 you will write. And then they say that he ran for two hours and 15 minutes. So I'm going to write two hours and 15 minutes. Can I write it like that? Yes. yes? Now they are asking me, when did he get home? So to come to know when he got home, what can I do? Can I add these two? Yes. If I add, will I come to know what time he came back home? Yes. Mom, I think it is 2.20. You have written 2 hours 15 minutes. Why 2.20? He left his house at 1420. Correct? Come at 16 yes. Hours. He will come home at 16.35 hours. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So we have to write here Yukesh got home at and we will write 16.35 hours. That is my answer. Aman, are you getting what I'm doing, Beta? Yes. Are you understanding what we are doing? Yes, 2 hours 15 minutes. Yes, he ran for 2 hours 15 minutes. He left his house at 14.20. 14 20. So, 14.20 plus 2 hours 15 minutes of his running, we will add and then we'll come to know what time he came home. Yes. Clear? Yes, yes, ma'am. Any doubt? Anybody has doubt? Anybody has not understood? Ma'am, no. Okay. 
That's nice. Are we done? Can we move to the next question? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, now look at the second question. Nafisa spent one hour and 30 minutes tidying her house. Okay, how much time she took? One hour and 30 minutes she took. One to tide, tide her house, that means to clean her house. Okay, she finished at 12.45. What time did she start? Now, we don't know what time she started. No, because it is back. One hour, 30 minutes back she had started. So, if I need to know that time, will I have to add or will I have to subtract? Subtract. Subtract. Okay. So, yes. So, first I will write the finish time because from the finish time, I will have to subtract one hour and 30 minutes. So, I will write 12.45. Twelve forty-five. she finished. Okay, and how much time she spent? One hour and 30 minutes. So I'm going to write it like that. I know that she had started earlier. So 11 point 10 minutes. So I'm going to subtract. Now five, five minus zero will be five. Yes, 4 five. minus 3 will be 1 and I will put that point 12 minus 1 will be 11 so what time has she started and I say 11.15 11. yes yes, ma yes and if we need to cross check whether our answer is correct what we should be doing 11.15 plus 1 point if we add, do we get 12.45? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So this is our answer. So you should know when to add, when to subtract. When it is total time, how much time he came back like the first one, then we added. Here it was when she started. So what did we do? We subtracted. Got it? Yes. Tell me, are you all getting difficulty in doing this kind of a sum? No, no. ma'am. Okay. Ma when we have to add and when we have to subtract. Can when we... they tell you total, then add. When they tell you when they started, subtract. Can we go to the next sum? Yes, ma'am. Everybody is done with the first two? All are paying attention for the third one? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now look at the third question. They say a film started as at 14.10, finished at 16.25. How long was the film? Now tell me what I will have to do. Uh, minus. Minus. So what I will write, first I will write finished time because finished time is going to be more. So I'm going to write 16.25. Then I'm going to write the started time. Okay. And I'm going to subtract. Okay. Subtract 14.10. Will I know the duration of the film? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So if I do 16.25 minus 14.10, what am I going to get? 2.15. 2.15. Uh, so the duration of the film is 2 hours and 15 minutes. 2 hours 15. Yes, ma'am. 14 or uh, 14.15. Yes, ma'am. In 20 hours. No, you will not write 14 point. The time in duration is going to be in hours and minutes. Ma'am, in hours and minutes? Yes. You will not write. How long was the film? The film cannot be 14 hours. Can the film be 14 hours? <laughs> no, ma'am. Watch that. 
the film how long was the film the film was 2 hours and 15 minutes <laughs> Got it? Yes, ma'am. So don't fall trap of the timeline that they have given because that timeline is wrong. It cannot be 14 hours. It cannot be 1430. It cannot be 15 hours. Can the film be that long? No. no. Okay, so no, it can be two hours and 15 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Now look at, can we go to the next sum? Yes, ma'am. Now look at yes, sum number four. Sam and Sergi watched their favorite program on television. The program started at 15.05 and finished at 17.40. How long was the program? So again, the same type was... of a sum. Subtract. Subtract. Uh, can I say yeah. the answer? Yeah, tell me. It's, it is 2 hours and 35 minutes. How did we get it? First, we will write the finish time. Then and then we will write, write the started start start time. Yes, finished is 17.40. Then we will write the started time. Started time is 15.05. And then we can get the duration. When we minus. So what are we going to get? 10 minus 5 is going to be 5. Then this 4 will become 3. So 3 minus 0 is going to become 3. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Point. And then 17 minus 15 is going to be 2. So it's going to be 2 hours and 35 minutes. Do you get it? Yes, ma'am. That's nice. Yeah. So we will write the answer here. The program was two hours and 35 minutes long. Ma'am, in exam, you will give the, like that duration, 14. 14. Yeah. Something like that. Yes. Are you going to give extra questions for homework? For what problems? Yes. No. Yes. What problems we are going to do in the next class? Okay. What next problems day. next class? Extra questions also next class. Oh, Mama, I was saying that one more is left in the next page. Ah, so it's okay, no? Have I completed the chapter? Did I say chapter over? No, ma'am. So we are going to do it, no? Are you all done with these four sums? Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. Have you all yes, written it down well? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Can I clear the screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Question number five is your homework question. Try doing it. I'm going to discuss it in the next class. And I'm going to give you extra word problems for the time sums. Is it very clear? Yes. Yes. Ma'am. So we end our class yes, for today here. And I meet you in the next class. Bye-bye. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye. Bye.